Yes. And then at least at this point saying that they will begin attempting to impanel a new jury on July 18th. For some perspective on that, CBS 5's Jason Berry is joining us live with a, uh, an attorney, uh, David Cantor, who can discuss some of that with us about what's next. Yeah, David Cantor has had a number of death penalty cases and has been watching the Jody Arias trial very closely. Initially, your reaction to what happened today? Well, I wasn't shocked. Once the dynamite instruction was given, it normally doesn't change a jury's opinion. But even before the dynamite instruction, it is very difficult for a person to put somebody to death. I mean, they've decided she's guilty, it was heinous, cruel, and depraved, but to single-handedly save somebody's life or put them to death, that's a burden I don't think anybody would want. Now, initially, when they're questioned by the, the, the attorneys before the case starts, they're aware of all the parameters here, but, but that can change, correct? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's one thing to do it in theory. It's another thing when you're the one who's holding the switch, so to speak. And also, if you weigh the factors, was it really a death case? And I don't think it ever really was a death case. Life in prison, sure, but not death. All right, so we talk about the challenges this jury faced. Now we have to talk about the challenges facing a new jury that hasn't been following all the details of the case. How tough is it going to be to find an impartial jury? Well, that's that's the question. I think it's almost impossible in Maricopa County to find somebody who doesn't have an opinion already as to whether she should live or die. So I think the defense will file a motion for change of venue, and whether they hold the trial in a different county or bust the jurors in, sequester them, put them in a hotel room, uh, that's the decision um, that the judge will have to make. Mm -hmm. Now, Jody Arias' attorneys have, have asked to step down from this case. Is this a window for them to step down or it's still not likely to happen? What, what's your thought? I think it's highly unlikely they'll let these lawyers withdraw at this point. Um, I, if they couldn't do it prior to this, I don't see why anything's changed at this point. So I don't think the judge will let them off the case. From a defense attorney standpoint, a new jury being impaneled, what, what's sort of the angle? I mean, what direction would you take in this next step? In the next step, if I was the defense attorney, I'd be sure to put on some mitigating witnesses, her family, her friends, and I'd have Jody herself so show some contrition. Uh, she has not really apologized and asked for forgiveness yet, and that's what she needs to come to terms with. Mm -hmm. I guess people need to understand that you know, there's a big difference between the, the guilt and innocent part and, and, and this death penalty phase, correct? Oh, absolutely. This is not an entire retrial on guilt or innocent or whether it's heinous, cruel, or depraved. This only relates to whether they should put her to death or let her live in prison. So basically, what can we expect? Simply just a, a mini trial like we've seen the past couple of weeks? Yes, I think it'll be a very a redacted trial, maybe a couple of weeks, uh, two to three weeks tops, where they summate the evidence. Obviously, they're going to bring in the medical examiner to show how uh, horrible the death was, um, and I think the defense will then and present the bulk of the evidence. Mm -hmm. Now, lastly, I guess it was back in 2002, the U.S. Supreme Court made the decision that allowed juries to make the decision in these death penalty phases of these cases. Uh, you, you feel like the judges were better served, or you feel like, you know, it's better off the juries? I mean, what's your, what's your personal opinion, I guess, as a defense attorney? Well, that's the Ring decision, which was actually an Arizona case that changed the face of the landscape for death penalty across the U.S. And my opinion at first was, well, fantastic because now the jurors can decide uh, whether there's aggravators. But the more I thought about it, um, I think the judges can balance it a little better. And I think a judge in this case, if it would have gone to her, Sherry Stevens, in the first place, I think she would have found this is not a death case and this would be life in prison. All right, David Canner, defense attorney here in the Valley, thank you for giving us some insight into this case.